Hi, my name is Seti and in today's video we will be looking at Google Sheets and how you can combine data sets from multiple sheets into a single master. We're going to do that using a number of different ways. I'm going to start off with an easy one and then a slightly more complex way that you can do this. So let's jump onto the computer and then we're going to have a look at it. Now here you can see I've already prepared a Google Sheets file and this file contains three parts. The first part has name, surname, class, and the year this student joined. These are all my 2020 students, my 2021 students, and my 2022 students. Now I want to have a master right here that contains all of these students, all the data, everything in a single sheet. So how can I get this done? Well, first of all, we're going to have a look here. So you can see we have a single header that will become important later. We can choose to use this or not. I'll show you how to do that. And then make sure that that header is the same for all three partial files. Then we go to our master and this is where we're now going to import all this data. Now, as you can see, I have the same header. So I'm just going to copy that header here. I'm going to copy this over and paste it into my master. Now you don't have to do this. I like to do it this way because it's slightly more convenient later on. Then I'm going to go to this first cell and now I want to import that data. So I'm going to press equals and then I'm going to use the curly brackets. Now the curly brackets, this is an array. An array can pull in multiple data sets. So what we're going to do is we open our array, go to the first part and we are going to select all that data we want. As you can see, my formula is starting to cre be created here at the top. Now we can add a semicolon and add in our second data set. So we go to part two. I'm going to select everything from part two. You can see it remembers which sheet this was taken from. Again, semicolon, go to part three. And let's grab all this data, close my curly brackets, enter. As you can see, we have all our data together in a single sheet. Now, there is a slight caveat here. If I was to add data now to that set, it wouldn't be added to this one. So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to add a record for the 2020 students. So you can see Lydia is the last one. We're going to go back to this. I'm going to just copy this line over and we are going to pop it here. So there should be two Lydia Jones is now. When I go to all students, there is still only a single Lydia Jones. Now the reason for this is because this array runs once and it doesn't look for additional rows because we've specified exactly which rows we want to use. You can see it goes up to D6, D5 and D7. Now we could get rid of that number and simply say, okay, look at everything in column D and don't look at the rows. So let's try and do that. We're going to remove this five, remove that seven, enter. Okay, so now we've got everything, including the new records. Let's just test that. We're going to go to the second part. I'm going to copy Henry. So let's just copy this. And now we should have two Henrys. And as you can see, we do indeed have two Henrys. But there's an additional problem now. As you can see, we have all this white space. This white space is coming from the additional blank cells down at the bottom. So unless you are going to manually highlight these rows, right click and then delete them, your master will still have those empty rows. Now we can automate this. Within Google Sheets, we can use a query to automate the selection of rows to only use rows that have data in them. So for now, I'm going to leave part two and I'm going to leave these empty rows. I'm also going to leave part three and I'm going to leave those empty rows. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to change my formula. So we're going to go up here. I'm going to copy this entire part, this array, because I will be using this array later. So let's go ahead and click on copy and make sure that we keep that on our clipboard. Next, I'm going to remove this formula start over. So as you can see, there's nothing here now. So we're going to start typing our query now. So we're going to type equals query equals query. You can see that here. And the first thing it wants is the data set. Now we have that copied in our clipboard. It was that previous selection of the individual data. So let's go ahead and paste that in. We're going to just paste that entire set there. 
Then we're going to press comma. Now it wants to know what is your query. Well, I want to select everything. So I'm going to open up double quotes and I'm going to say select and then I use that star. That means select everything. Again, quotes. An extra comma now because now it's asking me how many headers do you have? Now I didn't select any headers, so I'm going to say zero. But if you had headers that needed to be transferred over, you can let it know how many headers there are. So we now have this. Let's go ahead and close our query. We're going to just close the brackets and enter. This is working. As you can see, we have all the exact data come over. Only one problem. It's also brought over the empty rows. We can change that by going into our query now. We're going to say select all, space, where, and then we select column one. Now, column one always has a value. It's that name where column one is not null. So null means that there is no value in that column. So if it does not not have a value, bring it in. We can enter. And we now have a working merge. Let's test it. We have two Lydia's here. We have a Henry. Let's go ahead and remove that duplicate. We're just going to remove this one here. Let's just delete that row. Let's delete the second Lydia delete that row and let's go and have a look at our master. Yeah, they have been removed. Now let's add in another one. Now let's go ahead and copy Grace. And let's just add in an extra row for Grace and another one for Grace. Let's add in a Grace right here as well. And let's add in a Grace in row nine. So we're going to just leave these two blank. And then let's add in another Grace here at 10. Now our master will automatically read that. And as you can see, we have Grace Grace, 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 and Grace. It is automatically removed all those empty rows. Now, if you want to see the full query that I've used on my spreadsheet, there will be a link down in the description below with a link to this file so you can have a look. And then you can also play around with your own queries. I will also link out to a blog by Ben Collins, who does a lot of amazing spreadsheet stuff where you can learn all about the query function. I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, let me know in that comment section below, have you used query functions? Are you merging data? And is this something you can see yourself using? Maybe you're using this for your tracking or when you're analyzing your assessments. And I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.